Okay, well, I've got a, a special fucking rooting style, uh, and it's very similar to rabbits. Like, I get in there kind of behind and go very fast like a rabbit. So I got that nickname from some of the bikers that I know because they spied me one time. I was in there, like, giving it to a chick, and they seen my style, and then I got my nickname, the official nickname, which is now Rabbit. This one, I mean, I'm just looking at a text. A chick just sent me a set of tits. Just hold on. <laughs> They're good. Sorry, what was the question again? Yeah, Rongo is my mate. Uh, but one thing about, like, Maoris is the all size, no speed. So sometimes, like, you know, you need to get out there quick. And, you know, just that that's, that size is slow, mate. That's the thing. Like, physically slower. So I can get out there real quick. But him... You know, and he's got this thing about, like, sometimes we're robbing shit and he's always going to stop for the pokies, mate. He's got, he's got a problem. I think he's got a problem. You know that little thing you see at the pub? It's his fucking uh, addiction gamble, done gamble thing. He's got that. So that is a problem for him. Apart from that, can't fault him. Top bloke. Uh, he's a mad drinker. Um, and I tell you what, he's, you know, he's quiet, but he's good with the ladies. Like, he's got kids everywhere, man. The Centrelink file on fucking him must be, like, at least six pages there's Maori DNA fucking spread far and wide. I tell you what, he's got that warrior gene implanted in every capital city in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, well, a lack of tits for a start. Oh, well, some guys do have tits in there. That's that's maybe unfair to say because uh, the operations like Bruce Jenner and that these days. Um, worst thing, uh, the smell probably, um, you know, like... Uh, some of the uh, funny business that goes on, you know, a bit of grab ass doesn't bother me. I'm pretty tough. I can handle myself. That doesn't happen. Um, and what happens in jail? Anyway, so, uh, you're mainly the smell. Um, you know, there's a few punch up. Getting shanked is not good, I've got to say, actually, when I think about it. Probably, yeah, actually, when you cop a shank, that's, that's, that's a bit fucked. This thing. There's no best thing, mate. Fucking go to jail and tell me if there's a best thing. Who wants to be in jail? Don't be in fucking jail. You know, careful, mate. You know, somebody might fucking flog you for even asking a question like that. Well, you know, like um, he, he's kind of related to me on the distant kind of side, on the on the goody two shoes side of the family. And he's come to me and said, you know, um, I think we want to do this thing, dumb criminals, blah blah blah. And, you know, he just paid me and, look, there was a lot of fucking chicks to kind of bang, like these actor chicks who were strippers pretending to be strippers. And I found that interesting to kind of bang fake strippers instead of real ones. So that was really what got me interested. You know, actually, when I came to talk to him, he was smart because he, he had two chicks on the couch with their tits out. And whatever I signed, I wasn't even listening because I was just looking at the tits. <laughs> I just got out of jail. So, you know, when you see tits after jail... Um, they were fakies, but still, you know, it's just fucking like bunny in the headlights, literally. Uh, look, you know, it's a biographical pick on some of the things I've done over the years, um, you know, things I've been caught for. Uh, but I shouldn't really admit that in case there's some way, you know, the director of prosecutions can come after me and shit. They actually, fuck, just edit that out. But, um, yeah, it's just about shit that uh, guys like me and my mates do you know, just crying, mate. You know, the shit we do. Just, you know, it's just the shit we do. It's, if you have to put that, that's what I would say. The shit we do. So if you have to write that down, the shit we do, that's the quote. That's what it's about. Well, we did get to do filming in uh, Las Vegas. That was pretty good. Like, um, and I mean, like, me and Rongo did fuck off, like, from the filming for age. We left them there, stooged them. <laughs> uh, fuck them. Yeah, we went gambling and we went shooting and we picked up some, like, hookers over there. And, uh, you know, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Um, I mean, those American hookers, they, they trick you because, like, you're in the casino and they come up and they, they chat you up like you think it's just a chick chatting you up. But it's bullshit. They're just, they're hookers. So you bang them and then they go, ka like, where's the cash? But I didn't care because I had this credit card that Fennec gave me while we was there. So, fuck, it's all on him. I, I, I maxed it out, I think. <laughs> just on Just on pussy.
Well, they fucking, why did they film it in fucking winter, mate? You know, there's a lot of motorbike scenes. Fuck, they go, oh, you know, we want you to be in your singlet, like, God, what I'm wearing, and flex and shit. And it's fucking cold, mate. I mean, you know, look, I've been in Grafton Prison, which is pretty fucking cold, in Parramatta back in the day. But it was fucking cold, mate. I mean, don't ask me to ride a fucking motorbike when it's like fucking zero degrees in a fucking singlet. I mean, I fucking did it because I'm staunch. But fuck, you know, you get that much shrinkage, mate. When you get a chance later on to see with the, like the ladies and that, you get your gear off, they go, fuck, have a go of that. He's fucking got a small one. It's bullshit, mate. It's fucking, it's from the coal. And I blame Fennec for that. Fuck, you have to ask him, man. I don't fucking know what he does. He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> as far as I know, he's my, like, he's my cousin. Okay, no, he's, he's all right, you know. But he's fucking straighty one eighty. That fucking st- you know he's a he's an idiot, mate. You know like he's he's always fucking working. You know he doesn't enjoy life. You know I, look, I said to him, come over to my like you know like my, the place where I'm staying because I have to stay because I'm on parole and shit. And I had some strippers lined up for him, some real good ones, mate. The ones without STIs. And did he come? Nah, he was fucking. Oh, sorry, I got to work. I like the film. He's a fucking he's a dickhead, mate. Who knocks back that? You know. I mean, all right, if the strippers had STIs, fuck, fair enough. But yeah, it was a mad skank goon party, and he knocked it back, and, you know, I went to a lot of trouble to fuck, fucking organise that. At least free phone calls. Fuck him. Yeah, no, he's a cousin of mine. But, you know, those fucking houses, mate. You know, they're, they're no fucking hopers. I mean, they don't get off their ass for nothing. At least us, us feeds, we go out and steal our shit. These fucking bludges, I, I, I don't fucking like them, mate. I'm telling you. You know what? I have seen him on the inside. You know, like, I give him more fucking respect than Fennec, the fucking, the filming dickhead. <laughs> but, uh, you know, yeah, I don't really, you know, there's houses there's fucking bludging off the government, this, that. Don't bludge, mate. Get off your fucking ass. Go steal something. It's more productive, you know? Fucking sentiment. Who can be fucked with those fucking forms? And what is it with that fucking form? That fucking thing is his footwear. He's always on about fucking his fucking thongs. Fuck. You know, just get over it, mate. You know? Fuck. Just get some decent fucking footwear. You know, it's not easy. The thing is, he actually knocked off one of my fucking Harleys once. Um, and I, I have forgiven him for it now. At the time, but fuck, I tell you what, if I had a fucking shotgun, I would have shot him. You know, and his thong would have done fuck all. I mean, put a, put a thong against a fucking shotty. <laughs> the thong's going to come off second best. Well, the thing of it is, you know, like, uh, I, I can go pretty fucking hard, so, you know, but, like, it's, I'm not going to get into some fucking thing with rules. Fuck that. I mean, look, to be honest with you, what I would probably do, the smart thing to do, would I would just sub Rongo in, because he's a fucking, you know, he's like a big human mountain, mate. That's that's why we're such a great team. I'm the brains, he's the fucking muscle, you know. So I would just fucking sub Rongo in and he'd fucking smash him. Ironically, Rongo's cousin is fucking Frankie's best mate, this other bloke, uh, Ke- what's his name? Ke- I don't know, something with a K. So it's we get mistaken sometimes. Yeah, it's a good buck because they get fucking into the lineup and they, the coppers think it's them, but it was us. <laughs> That's one of the advantages of just having a cousin that looks very similar. I would just fucking knock them all out, mate, because they're all fucking soft. You can just tell. And women fucking respect the hard man, mate. They like a fucking staunch man. So I reckon, fuck, give me five minutes on that fucking show. First thing I do, <laughs> knock them all fucking out or get Rongo to do it. You know, I just switch the lights off. You come in, sub in, boom, fuck, there they go. And then lights come on. I'm the last man standing. I win the fucking show first five minutes. Take the chick and the cash. But I'd probably steal a lot of shit too. Like, you know, it's good when they're filming all them people with, there's all them people standing around and shit. I'd be lifting their wallets, fucking taking that fucking camera. Those cameras are worth a fucking fortune. I'd, I'd fucking take that straight down to cash and carry, mate, you know, and or a hock shop. You don't get that much at a hock shop, but, you know, to be honest, they, they fucking always rip you off, just saying. 2015, I was not supposed to get out till 2016. <laughs> I just realised that. Fuck, I must have got out early. Um, what am I... Well, I don't know. That just, you know, I'm hoping that this film will uh, bring more chicks with big tits, basically. That's really the only thing. I mean, I just got out, so fuck. I'm just looking for big tits. That's that's it. Um, what else am I going to do? Fuck, I don't know. Um, try and uh, do some shit without getting caught so I don't fuck my parole up. That would be one thing. Uh... I've got a few people I need to fucking get back from some shit that happened in jail, so there might be the odd, 
shooting you might see on the news. <laughs> Wasn't me, but just happened to them. Something like that. So yeah, that sort of shit, man. The usual shit. Just you know, just the usual shit. You just put that, write that down if you just, you make this like on a on a paper. The usual shit. Yeah, thanks, man. And look, I just want to say, like, the title, I'm a bit fucking cut over, you know, because it insinuates that I'm not fucking smart. And out of all my fucking cousins, like that Fennec, the director, he finished in year fucking eight, I think, or ten maybe. Fucking the other one, fucking the Howzo, <laughs> he got fucking kicked out in fucking primary school because he's a fucking idiot. I'm the one who fucking finished in year fucking, I think, at 11th. I was pretty stoned most of high school, but I'm sure I got to end the year 11. So what's with the fucking title, mate? Dumb criminals. I'm a fucking smart criminal, mate. Because I'm on the outside. If I was dumb, I'd still be fucking inside. So fuck you, Fennec, and your fucking labels, mate. Fuck, fuck you. you know, actually, I'm pretty shitty when I think about it. Fuck. Dumb criminals. Fuck. Fuck you. Yeah, hey, thanks, man. Yeah, okay. How do I switch this fucking thing off? I'll just fuck off then, see ya. Very cheap.